Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe. The character can level up by assigning points to individual skills and reaching certain skills enable the player to pick up relative skills. Skill trees allows the player to customize the character's abilities. During gameplay, you will get the skill point or experience point which you can spend to unlock a new ability. Skill trees first found in my memory as Diablo 2. But now skill trees can be found in many games. Skill trees is a nice way to make players feel like they have grown in power over the course of the game. At the start of the game, you are weak and have only a few special powers, but by the end you look like a god of war with a bunch of abilities. This also can be used to keep players engaged. They can scan the skill trees to get a preview of abilities and stick with it until they get to that point excited about the perspective of playing with all those new abilities. Skill trees can be created a different experience each time you play, and they give the UI team something to do. Today I would like to show with you my workflow about making simple tower defense skill tree. There are 4 towers in our game. Each tower has its unique 3 abilities we need to upgrade. The skill points will be input before pressing the play button. This is one simple workflow I made when I finished my skill tree. Hope this page can help you easy to catch my ideas about this skill tree. First, I will make one blueprint of the skill trees and put them on my UI canvas. Skill trees are created on the left. The activating skills will be displayed on the right panel. All UI parts are laid out in a standard pattern. Besides, each UI game object name should be easy to read because we will use them later in the inspector. Then we need to edit all of the skills in this game. In here, I create one C# script called skill to edit each skill. Inside this script, I have declared all of the attributes of these skills such as skill name, skill description, and the required points for an upgrade. I also use the inner type to distinguish each tower type. Enumerations allow you to create a collection of relative constants. Actually, each icon on the skill trees is one button. Each skill information will be displayed when the mouse press down. So I create a new C# -sharp script called skill button to manage each skill button. Each skill button will be focused on each skill information. The collections of the skill buttons and the skill information will be stored in our game manager script. First, I plan to achieve a single skill button. After that, I will pass the parameters and use the for loop to achieve all of the skill buttons. If you want to publish your own game, you need to work as an artist and draw many sprites. For beginners, I recommend you to focus on the codes first. You can find many free 2D sprites on the access store. I will put several links below. Then I will focus on the button interactions and the visual effects. If we press the upgrade button, we want to provide more feedback to our players. In here, I create another camera and set our UI canvas mode to camera mode. If you want to know the details manipulation about how to make a particle system on UI, leave the comments and let me know. Keep in mind that since there are many conditions in their game, we have to consider all of the possibilities. I have less several conditions I made when I made the skill trees. As I said, our game must have more logical and consider all of the conditions. Later, you can add a background image to your screen. If you want your tower icons to look more obvious, you can add several stars to represent its level and write down relative codes. Finally, code refactoring. Code refactoring can improve code without creating new functionalities that can transform a mess into clean code and simple design. This step is definitely not too small to be worth doing. These transformations are quite significant. By doing them in small steps, you can reduce the risk of introducing errors. Alright, this is my unit workflow on the skill trees. I definitely have some hide bugs and imperfect places. Each week, I will publish one or two videos recording the process of my project I made it. Also, if you want to see this skill trees as a tutorial, leave the comments and let me know. I will try to create a new Unity tutorials about making skill tree. If you want to watch more videos about Unity tutorials, Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop or game design, you can click my profiles and subscribe to my channel. 
each click can expire me lots. Also, you can check the July to-do list to know the following videos in this month. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.